Good luck. Hello everybody, Torres here, and today I will teach you how to cold start the AH-64D Apache. The first thing we're gonna do is to remove our iHat by pressing I as in India. Then we will close our canopy by left clicking the canopy handle. Once that is done, we can go ahead and start the battery, which is this black knob on our left panel. We're going to right click it once. Now that the battery is on, we can do a quick fire detection check by pressing on the switch in our top left front panel. Press and hold it twice, once with the left mouse button and again with the right one. Once that is done, we can go ahead and start the APU, which is right next to the battery knob. We will press it once to open the cover and a second time to start it. You will hear the APU come to life. The first thing we're going to do is to navigate in our left MPD by clicking TSD and then Utility. Once here, we will turn on our Doppler and we will leave it there because we need to wait for the INU alignment. We will know this is done once the white number turns green. In the meantime, we're going to go to right MPD and click on DMS and then WCA. Here, we will reset the WCA history. Now, we're going to go to our fuel page by clicking DMC, DMC twice and going to the fuel button. Here, we will enable our Robby tank by clicking the C AUX MPV button on the top left corner. Now, we wait for the INU alignment to finish. This time can be used to set up your secret codes, weapons, etc. Since we're not really on a mission at the moment, we will not do that and we will just wait for the INU alignment to finish. So, I will just fast forward to the point it's ready. Now that the INU shows a green number, means it has a high precision confidence. Now we are ready to start our engines. But before we do it, let's set up our MPD in the engine page. To do so, we need to click the menu button and then ENG for engine. Now we can start the engines. To do that, we have in our left panel two switches for each, two switches for each respective engine. So we will start with the engine number one, which is the left switch. Once we right click it once, we see in our MPD how the engine starts spooling. Once it reaches past 20, we can go ahead and put the left power level to idle position. The default keybinds for this is right alt plus home. You will see the left angel coming to life. Once it settles down a little bit, you can go ahead and start the second engine following the same exact steps. This time, to put the right lever to idle is with right shift close home. Once the both engines are on, we're going to bring up the SYS system page in the right MPD. 
by clicking menu then engine and then SYS we're doing this because we need to see the both we need to see that both engines oil PCI temperatures are below 70 Now that both are below 70, we can slowly bring the power levels forward. We can now we are almost ready for takeoff. All you need to do is to make sure your torque is in either 16, 17, or 18, and your main rotors are on 101. Once they reach those numbers, you can go ahead and turn off the APU. And that's it, your Apache now is fully turned on and ready to go. So good luck out there, I hope this was of help, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, Torres signing out.